it saves me so much time when I get back home and have to do all the cleaning. Um, all I have to do is hose it off. It doesn't require me to scrub like I used to. Um, it's just a good rinsing, let it dry. I try and put an application on every time on my reels, my boat, everything that I'm going to be taking out with me before I go. You don't have any problems with salt buildup at all. We use the MX3 for just continuous maintenance of uh, rods and reels. Uh, we fish quite often, we fish tournaments as well, and all of our gear looks um, brand new as if it came right out of the box, and that's thanks to the Inox MX3. Um, what we do is we basically take our products, make sure they've got no salt on them, and wipe them all down, and then just kind of mist them a little bit. You know, and then either rub it with your hand or, or rub it with a, with a light cloth. And what that does is this puts a protective coating on the outside of the reel or the fishing rod. And you can do that on the rod as well on, on your guides. It'll protect your guides from rusting. It protects it from, uh, you know, any of the moisture or uh, corrosive properties that exist when you're out fishing. Believe it or not, we had, a, we had a reel that was corroded up. And we actually sprayed the MX3 on it just to see if it was going to break it off and it really did. And I actually have the reel at my shop that I could actually show you personally that when we sprayed it, and the guy ended up buying three cans of it that day. The customer brought in an old rod and reel that probably hasn't been washed down with fresh water or anything for about two years. Um, it was so bad he wanted his reel re-spooled, he couldn't get his reel off of the rod. He used a wrench and he put bite marks in the, in, the, in the reel seat and everything, couldn't get it off. Came in and we sprayed Inox on it, and we talked for about five minutes, and then I unscrewed his reel with my fingers. Took it off and the guy was shocked. He bought it, bought a can of Inox and said, this is the best thing I've ever seen. I go in, and what I'll do is I'll take my reel like this, you know, which this is not a cheap reel, by the way. This is a, a Shimano Saragossa, which is about a little bit over $200. And I literally spray everything, every single day. I just spray it down just a little bit like that, gently wipe it off, and I don't have any worries at all. My line roller bearings, my bales work perfect because salt is like the ultimate enemy on a fishing reel, especially when you're using some high-end stuff. So no matter what, you got to rinse the fresh water, rinse it with fresh water just to get the salt deposits off. But every day after I do that, I walk in the house, I literally sit down, and you can tell, look, I've got fish scales on it. I mean, I use my equipment every day. I mean, it's got fish scales all over it, and I just squirt it down every day. It doesn't affect the line, doesn't hurt a thing. Actually, I think it might make it even cast further. But this stuff is absolutely the bomb for all your reel maintenance. We spray it on the reels, we spray it on the line. I love putting it on my braided line. The braided line gets it absorbed a little bit, and I think it really protects that line keeps the UV rays, everything else off of it, and it seems to last a whole lot longer for me. I don't have to reline my reels every six months. I actually have one that's been going on for almost a year now that's had line on it, and I, I think it's due mainly because of the Enoch. You can look at most of these reels on here. We just got back from a full day's fishing trip, and we have no issues with them. They're all shiny, they're still brand new. Um, it leaves a nice, clean um, film on it to where the salt won't stick to it like it does on the other type reels. Just a quick spray. And I just use my hand to rub it around. I can feel it a little bit better, make sure I'm getting in all the small cracks. You want to work up all your, all your uh, knobs, your switches. Make sure it gets down into all of them. But just completely coat it all. Wipe it down real good. Store it wherever you're stored in your garage. The heat won't bother it. Put it in the back of your car, wherever you need it, underneath your consoles. You don't have to worry about any, any salt buildup. You ever get your reel where it's not turning exactly the way you want it? If you go inside the reel, you can easily access the bearings of the reel by simply spraying some on the outside. All we do is fill a little bit on the outside, and as you turn the handle of the reel, it lets it work past the bearings in the handle, getting to the inside of the reel. And the nice part about this product is it helps rejuvenate the grease inside. It kind of takes away some of the effect of the salt in the reel. And so with just little touches like that, makes your customers feel better that when they trusted you with your reels to put new line on them, we're making them nicer and better, and it cost us less than a penny to do it. This is a reel that is two years old. That reel has probably four, 420 charters on it right now. That reel looks 
almost as good as this brand new reel that I just got last week to put on one of my new prototype Lama glass rods. That thing, I'm telling you, this stuff, I put that product on it right there, the MX3, and it keeps things in shape. <clears throat> now, I picked this particular reel for a reason. This reel has a roller bearing on it right here, like most reels do. That roller bearing one day sounded like I was dragging a cat across the chalkboard. What the heck? I normally keep my stuff in gear, in good, good shape, my gear in good shape. Didn't matter. Water, salt water is going to get in there. It's going to attack at some point in time. It's going to attack what you've got. And I took, a, I took a little inox and I took a screwdriver. I simply backed that screwdriver back out about four turns. I took some inox, squirted it down in there, just like this. About three little squirts, and that's it. And I let it sit. I just let it kind of creep down in there. This stuff has penetrating properties like you would not believe. Took the screwdriver, tightened it all back together, okay? And now, all you hear is the drag indicator. No squealing, no, no squalling. Doesn't sound like you're dragging cats backwards down that chalkboard anymore. That was a frozen bearing that was completely rusted. And this stuff right here, the MX3, took care of all those problems. At the end of my day, I spray all my reels and rods down, wipe them down, and I'm good to go for tomorrow. I don't even wash my reels down, as I was saying earlier, with water anymore. I spray them down with Lanox and wipe them down. If I'm gonna leave them on the boat for a week or two, I don't even wipe them down. I just spray them and leave them there. The salt is gone. It, I don't know what he does with it, but it's gone. Right. You, you, you can, I can't taste it on the line, nowhere. It doesn't deteriorate your fishing line, whether it's braid, uh, fluorocarbon, or monofilament, it doesn't deteriorate it. It actually will put a protective coating on it and protect it against salt water. So when you're out fishing, you've got an extra layer of protection on uh, your rods, your reels, and your fishing line. For my fishing reels, you spray it on there, and water spots that don't even appear any longer. We've used it hundreds of times um, on clean rods, dirty rods, um, new rods. It'll keep your rod staying in great shape. It won't hurt the, the fishing with the line getting anything on it. And it just lasts forever and it keeps an investment, which is substantial, usually rods and reels, in great condition. Uh, as opposed to when we grew up, we were told to put fresh water on it and cleaning the salt water off. As we all found out, over time, the rust still gets in the rods and the reels, and we still have to have them serviced or thrown out eventually. This will eliminate that problem. It doesn't leave a really gooey residue. It's not slick and slippery so that when you're trying to grab your reel, it doesn't, you don't have to worry about dropping the thing while you're trying to clean it. And that's one of the problems we've always had is while you're cleaning them up, it gets slick. And what happens if you drop a customer's reel? Not good. This is nice. It's a little, a little slippery, but not near as bad as most of the products. I guess if it wasn't a little slippery, it wouldn't work. <laughs>